Greetings and welcome to Patron. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, let me thank all of my wonderful patrons who support me through Patreon or just sending me tips and all the kinds of things. Y'all are great. Uh, you're just wonderful, and I am thankful for you every single day. Um, so this game is kind of interesting. Uh, I don't really know what to make of it, but I'm hoping that you'll help me figure it out. Uh, this is a demo that's free on Steam right now, and it's basically a city builder, um, and it has a very unusual research tree, and I'm curious what you think about this. Um, it's kind of rough, uh, but we're going to do our best. We're going to start a brand new game here. Let's see. We're going to call our town... Um, I don't know. Let's call it Skyland. How about that? Sky land. All right, and then we'll choose a banner for ourselves. Uh, they're quite pretty. I like these banners. They're nice. Let's see. Ah, sword. Hey, golden sword. Works for me. Good, good. Okay, let's continue here. Now, we have a few different places here that we can settle on. So what we're doing here is we're building a colony in this kind of area. Uh, there's resources like... Uh, well, there's, there's, uh, well, there's resources like timber, so there's going to be trees. There are, there's also, uh, stone and iron and coal. And those things have these kind of overlays that you look at. And then there's also farming, like crop fertility. The soil fertility is different. So that's what we see down at the bottom here. Soil fertility high or richness high and weather is temperate. Then we have Pine Ridge. Uh, this one has some pine forests going on. We've got Twin Islands. That seems fun. Um, high, medium on that one. The Summit, high, medium, and weather is dry. That could be rough. We have a reef map. There are many, many maps that you can play. Uh, wait, can we actually play any of these? I'm not actually sure. I'm not sure. Maybe we can only play the first one. Yeah, it looks like in the demo, maybe only the first one's playable. But they do give you quite a variety to look at. That's for darn sure. And I'm really looking forward to playing some of these different ones when the game comes out. Um, so anyway, here we have our presets. I'm going to leave them all the same, I think. Uh, these are just the defaults. So let's just play this. Because it's kind of good to get a feel for how the developer wants you to experience the game. And then after that, you can kind of like adjust it to your own, uh, you know, your own proclivities, your preferences and tendencies. Word of the day, if you didn't already know it. Okay, so we start off uh, with people. We have people. The graphics in this game are very pretty. I like them. They are very uh, immersive. They're, they're quite lovely. Welcome to Patron. This short tutorial will guide you through the basic concepts of building your new city, setting up efficient production chains, and governing your people. Okay. So here we have our basic information. Oh, yes. We, we okay. We're gonna, yeah, I know how to do that. Thank you. We have our basic information. We'll just get rid of that in a second. We have money, coins, we have tools, stone, iron, food, lumber, firewood and coal and then here are people we have 10 adults six children six young people and three children family i believe means how many houses you need to have to house all of them as in families will live together two adults and however many children they have and this kind of helps you break that down into how many houses you need uh, then we have influence points, which we can't do anything with yet because we need to upgrade our uh, our center house here. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Village hall or something. Uh, and then we have our happiness. And those are based on the different kinds of things that you provide to them. So health and safety. Well, health is based basically on food and medicine. And then we have um immigration is people coming in from events like shipwrecks and things like that loyalty is again kind of event based i've seen some events talking about well if you do this for the king your loyalty goes up uh and if you refuse the king it goes down then we have religion education basic goods luxury goods taxes uh and housing so um yeah all right let's skip you know what i'm gonna skip all of the tutorials i think because I, I know how to do this uh so go away shoot thank you thank you but i love this village hall what is it called townhouse 
Uh, and here is where you can make decrees. There are a number of these. I'll go ahead and mouse over them. So if you want to pause, you can actually look at them. But some of them are like, you know, tax increases or production bonuses, this kind of thing. And um, they do have monetary costs. And there are quite a few of them, as you see. But we can't actually use any of them yet until we get to a certain part in our research. So hold on one second. I just want to turn down the music a tiny bit. There we go. I always test uh, music before I start a game, but sometimes it gets to be a little bit louder. Anyway, um, so uh, we have, anyway, this is the town, town ho uh, townhouse. Here are our, our people. They are, they are lovely. They're looking great in good health and spirits. Happy days. And here is our place, our island. So we're kind of like shipwrecked here or something happened to us. We're just, we've been dropped off without a ship. We'll just say it that way. And we need to survive. So there are, um, there's all kinds of stuff. We have like, birds here. We have fish in the water. There are you know, like dolphins here. That's nice. More fish over there. There's a crab walking around. Uh, we have many different kinds of things. You see, there's a fox there as well. Uh, we have hunting, we have berry gathering. There's some berries here you can see. Um, what else do we have? There's mushrooms around here. And then we also have some resources like um, if we don't set up a mine uh, initially, we can just gather some of these things that are on the surface of the ground. Stone here, and then this is um, ore. I think it's iron ore. Uh, or it could be coal, I'm not quite sure. But we, we have many kind of, many things to do in our town. So what I want to do first is we need to set up some housing. Uh, we can set up tents, uh, but probably it's nicer to set up houses because we get more money from people living in them. The main difficulty of the game so far has been money and trying to balance this amount out um, because you need money to buy buildings, you need money to upkeep buildings, and then you also want to have your houses where you can you know, get um, taxes from people. So I believe there is a, let's see, we have some option, view options here. Let's see, let's get the mini map on so you can kind of see where we are. This is kind of nice, like you can't drag it outside the screen, it's fun. Um, let's see, toggle grid on and trees off. Okay, so here we can see with the trees off, a better way of building houses and I highly suggest you use this grid thing because sometimes if stuff looks like it's aligned it actually isn't so I want to start by building a few houses here let's build three four and five houses let's do five um, and there then we can build a road in front of them but not yet I think uh, I would rather build something else first uh, because we need to build a few other things. Um, I guess we can... Let's see. Let's look at our other town buildings here. We can build a docks. Uh, enables trading with the mainland. But I think we have other buildings that are much more important first. Uh, like a depot. Th that helps hauling goods from here to another depot. Uh, then we have a gatherer's shelter. This is important because this is going to help our people gather fruits and stuff like this. So if we look at the tree overlay, that's that's kind of like what we're looking at here with the gatherer's hut. Um, keep note that we can also build a forester's hut, will, which will help us plant trees. So like an area like this can actually get replanted. I'm going to go ahead and leave some room for the town, but I also want to have this not too far away from stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this here. And then I'm going to turn off the trees so that we can place things a little bit more easily. Now then, we also have a hunting lodge. I'm going to put one here as well. And then a forester's hut. Um, yep, that cuts and cuts the trees and replants. So let's put that over here. And then we have a sawmill. Uh, they uh, cut up the lumber into firewood. Firewood is going to be very important to us in the winter time. So that's a, that's a thing that we need to do. And then we have an herbalist hut. I don't think we need an herbalist just yet. I really want to focus on some other stuff. Um, but a depot is going to be crucial to this. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to put down a road. Because roads do help people travel faster. 
it's here under the thing that actually looks like a road, just so you're aware. <clears throat> it's fine, it's fine. So we'll just do like a road here. There we go, crossing there, okay? And then I'll just, I'll go ahead and put a road here, even though it's gonna be a bit of a waste of time for our people to be doing this, but it'll be fine. It'll all balance out. All right. Um, and then I also want to have a depot near here. Specifically, I don't know specifically. Specifically, I want to build a docks perhaps um, so that we can trade stuff later. There we go. So we can get this. But I kind of want to go it without a docks for a while and see how, we, how we're going to do. Um, then we have beautification items, which none of them are researched. So that's pretty much it. So the rest of what we're going to do has to do with let me just toggle the grid oh oh here's the other thing that you can see we can have we have these overlays so this is a soil fertility grid you can see it at the bottom there so we kind of want to have farms here or maybe over there or up here somewhere like this then we have the ore grid now ore can either be taken in here or maybe over here it depends if we if we have enough money to build a bridge and all that kind of stuff uh, and then, of course, let's turn it off. So that's uh, G. So you can just, if you go G for grid, then one, two, three, it's off. It's okay. So we're going to put the trees back on because it's more ambiance. Um, and I think I kind of want to clear out maybe these trees over here. So what we can do here is um, clear buildings and resources. This is gather all the resources. So if you want to gather stones and other stuff, they have a really convenient button for doing that. I like it. It's this one here. We can just click that and it gathers all this stuff. I also kind of want them to, eh, maybe not. We don't actually need the stone right now. So we're just going to leave that. So anyway, in the beginning, so let's let our people start working here. Um, and I'm going to put it on three speed because that seems like it should be one speed <laughs> in my universe, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so they're all meowing about no houses. I like this game because every citizen tells you what they want and it's very obvious what you need to do. So I like I like that the communication from the dev with this. It's pretty good. And let's see what else we can do here. I think that's pretty much it. We also have a building called a shelter. Now, in my test games, I've had kind of mixed results with this shelter. Uh, it says that... Um, it should only be temporary. But my my thing, what happened to me is I had a shelter and I had empty houses and people would not move out of the shelter and I had no idea why. Uh, there were both adults and children living there that they could have gone into a house, but they never did. And I, I don't know why that is. I really have no clue. So anyway, hopefully, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's some other mechanic that I'm not quite understanding. Uh, also, I'm going to chop these so we can see our houses better. Um, but anyway, that, that was one of the issues I had. I want to see these beautiful houses. Look at them, how pretty, how detailed they are. Aren't they lovely? Well, we can't really see a lot of them right now, but hey, we can see the backside. Hooray! Uh, see, they even have stuff in the back, little roof bits. Um, and then, you know, buckets and things and street lamps and all the things like this. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so our food, and this is one of the weird things I find about the game. Okay, we need to, this is a gatherer's shelter. Okay, so food is only, right now, uh, wild fruit and mushrooms, depending on the season. So I think they do gather in the wintertime as well, even though that seems a bit strange. Um, so they do, oh, no, that's not it. Okay, this is a gripe that I have, a tiny, tiny thing that I would love to see changed or standardized because if you press escape, it should get out of this menu. And I don't know why it doesn't. Uh, you have to kind of click out of it. However, there are some windows, I believe it's this one, that if you press escape, it works. So I'm hoping to see that standardized across all the windows because I really like keyboard shortcuts. So if, if the dev is watching, please, please do this. It would be great. Um, anyway, the other food source we have comes from the hunting lodge, which they're going to hunt stuff and we get both venison and leather from this. Um, so yeah, again, I keep forgetting because <laughs> I love clicking escape. And then the foresters, of course, is going to replant trees. Um, how this differs from a lot of other city builders. Oh yeah, let's go and see this beautiful stuff. Oh my God, look at this table. They have berries and stuff going on. This is nice. And I like that the houses have natural variation just as you place them down. Um, 
it kind of looks like a real city instead of like I used to live in these like cookie cutter neighborhoods that like every house looked identical it was horrible um, but you notice we have these um, circle with a cross on them in front of these buildings or on top of these buildings what we need to do is go to the jobs board now this is like uh, this is basically assigning people to the buildings we have so we have zero assigned and this is how many maximum jobs there are currently so let's uh, assign a cleric healer wait no not a hero oh my gosh hunter forester <laughs> <laughs> gather I was like looking on the right oh yes sure a healer is a forester same thing so this is what we're gonna do here we're gonna get these and we have a at least one specialized carrier working okay every time I do that it's just because I forget about escape um, but what I want to do also is we need to get um, you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna try turning down the sound a tiny bit more because I feel like this rain is a bit loud can I? Hello? Let's see if I can turn this down a tiny bit because I feel like, oh, oh, this is weird. You know what? Let me just turn it down in my window settings. It, it's probably a tiny bit better. Okay, there we go. I hope that's still working. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we, we're going to get them working on stuff. We also have research, which you should start right away. There's nobody that has to work on this. It basically is money. So uh, quarry, I think quarry is good. And fisherman's hut is also very good. We have kind of a deadline. We got to get enough food before, um, <laughs> before winter because we're going to die otherwise. This is, this is bad. So anyway, um, yeah, we're going to do that. Anyway, we do need to start chopping some firewood. Uh, that's not this, of course. We need to go to production buildings. And it is the sawmill. Now, I haven't figured out if it's better to place this here by the wood or if it's better to place it here by the houses because they have to deliver the firewood to the houses. Um, but maybe it's better if they just put it in a depot or something. I don't know. Let's try putting it over here. In my test game, I had it near the houses. Um, you know what? Maybe it's better for them to haul logs and then put it in here. We're going to try this. So let's put the grid on with G. And I'm going to place it right down here. Okay, good. So that's another building they can work on. I don't remember if it shows up in the jobs board yet. No, it'll show up probably when the building is completed. Okay. Okay, go away. Oh, now see, this one does not click off. Naughty. Bad. Bad window. Alrighty. So we have our people. They're doing their stuff and their things. And we have very little money. So all of a sudden, we have very little money. It's a bit crazy. Uh, but we have spent a lot on houses. We've spent a lot on other stuff. And one of the cool things about this game is that they have upgrades. Like, it's not just make more. It's you can actually spend money to upgrade them and you can see they have various bonuses with stuff and they cost various amounts this worker starts larger baskets is great because it's production without needing an employee this one um some of them have the ability to lower their upkeep cost is this one of them reduce garbage yeah upkeep minus 15 percent right so this one, the upkeep, I forget if it's, some of them have um, item upkeeps and some of them have gold upkeeps. And I don't really, I'm not sure that I like the way that materials are called upkeep. As in, like, they require 120 per worker per year. And then they, you can get 800 per worker per year. I think it's definitely better for them to haul trees rather than hauling 800, like, yeah, 800 firewood. That's a lot of firewood. So, um, because this feels like, upkeep feels like a cost that you pay that you don't get anything out of, maybe necessarily. I guess, I don't know, maybe that's just my impression of it. But anyway, um... I, I probably would rather see that into the production, but I but I get why this is there because it tells you how many you need to produce. And that's always a good thing. 
That's always a very good thing. So, anyway, we are merrily going along here. We have five families, and I'm wondering, I think we want to do some more... Are we done with the research yet? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear the ding. So I do want to get the fisherman's hut. That is going to be a really, really important food source in the wintertime. Like, crazy important. You don't even know how important it's going to be important. Because um, it's, it's a scary world out there. We can also... Maybe we can make another... Oh, wait. No, let's build the fisherman's hut first. Just watch, watch them going about their daily lives. It's fun. Hello? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's no ding. I wish there was a ding. Uh, I thought there was a ding. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I have the sound settings wrong or something. But anyway, we have research done. Um, so what I do want to do after this, let's see, increase herbalist hut efficiency if it's near a forester's hut. I don't think we have a for an herbalist hut yet, so that's not going to do very much for us. We have hunting lodge efficiency as well, but those are very expensive. I would much rather go into mining here and then toolsmith and then probably clothes shop because I want to get to the gathering hall. Uh... Only here is when you can start planting crops. And to me, that's a really, really, really weird skill tree. Um, I wonder what you guys think about that. What, what, tell me what you think. I'm very curious about this because I'm kind of like, huh, this seems really late, you know? Uh, so anyway, so let's see. This upkeep is only 120 per year. So I guess we don't need to do the um, money saving on this one because there's no money to save. I'm not really worried as much about uh, goods right now as I am about money because money is kind of difficult at times. So oh, I really should turn on the grid for this. Oh, placing without the grid. Oh my gosh. Not holding onto the handlebars. No. <laughs> Uh, I guess we can, should we, see this one is 80 coins a year upkeep, which is crazy, crazy amounts. Uh, alright, so what I think, let's see, we could build a shelter, I'm thinking of building a shelter actually, that seems to be a good idea. Some town buildings, um, yeah, all of these things, we have inns and markets and schools, those are later in the research tree. Farms are not available at all right now. Let's see, where did those houses go? Oh, here it is, housing. Yep, shelters. Um, you do earn money in the shelter when people are in the shelter, but you do not earn... Um, let's go ahead and rotate this. You do not earn uh, children. Wait, earning children? I don't know if that sounds right. <laughs> this should be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, Fisherman's Hut. And what I want to do with this Fisherman's Hut, I want to get the expansions here. We can have an extra employee working. We can also get sturdy nets, increasing our production by 30%, plus 30%. Uh, so, yeah, increasing by 30% would be plus 30%. Thank goodness. Uh, over here, we can see how much food we produced and how much we used. We are in trouble. We need more food massively we definitely need a ton more food it is running out like crazy so i want to let's see what we can do we can get another worker slot in the hunting lodge uh oh oh the king sends his regards sire the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city he is clearly pleased with us most excellent please notify the king that we accept the gift okay 47 potatoes that will help us a tiny bit Okay, how many people do we have right now? I'm going to look at the jobs board. We have three workers. Workers are great because they are the builders and they are the haulers. If you have more carriers, uh, the carriers are actually the specialized haulers. So it's really good to have those people as well. Let's see, is there anybody here? Nobody's here yet. So no income, but look at this gorgeous building. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Like it's a multi-story, kind of like a chalet looking thing. It's beautiful. Did I put it backwards? I think I put it backwards. This is a back door. It's fine. They can walk around. But anyway, um, <clears throat> whoops. 
Jeez. Sorry. Sorry I put your thing in the wrong place. One thing that I would love to see, like, considering how highly detailed... Look at how beautiful this is. How highly detailed this game is with all of the very, very pretty stuff. Fish and nets. Look at that. Uh, I would love to see fishing boats go out and actually catch the fish. Just for funsies, you know? Uh, that would be a nice, a nice thing. Um... Because there are other people. You can see people gathering berries and, and mushrooms. That might be a feature that's coming. I'm not sure. Oh, but here are the mushrooms. You can see some growing in the road as well. Apparently there. They're, it's high, highly useful mushroom growing areas. All right. I want to get... Let's get the sturdy nets here. And the expansion. Because I definitely want to get this upgraded and have a second person fishing that will help us i think now here we could do the reduced garbage um mechanization but that's expensive 150 coins um we don't need that yet i think what we can do though is for people who don't have a job right now i'm gonna go ahead and have them gather gather these stones and things because why not they can gather all this stuff so they don't have to get it later so it's not an emergency later. They can just get it all now and it'll be good. And we won't have to clear it uh, later as well. So you can see here that some trees are being chopped down. We have another tree that has been planted here uh, and it obviously is going to grow up. Uh, what we might want to do is get the efficiency on the tree planting people up as well. As in this one, it's only 20 coins and a few tools and stuff. So I think that's good. Oh, geez, I completely forgot about the research. I need a ding for that, I think. Uh, Toolsmith, I think, is our next person to get here. Um, we need 150 coins to unlock that, which is a lot. So it's okay. I think we get coins at the beginning of the month and the middle of the month. So uh, so these people, they pay 120 per year. So basically 10 per year or 10 per month. And so, you know, 10 times five is 50 per month. So we get 25 every half a month. It's not a lot of money. It's very slow, slow to trickle in, but it should be fine. We are in September. So this is uh this is getting there, but we are actually on the positive of producing food. So I think we can kind of relax a tiny bit and hopefully, hopefully we're going to get more settlers because settlers are who give us more money. Uh, but right now, you know, the children are not growing up that fast and, and stuff. Oh, 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 autumn has arrived. Can you tell? The trees have gone naked. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but well, oh, one of the things that I forgot to do is set up a mine. So let's pause the game for a moment here. And we can do... I completely forgot about this. Jeez. Uh, oh, we can't actually. Not enough coins for that. We also have the quarry. I think that's what... Can we build the regular mine? Yes, I think so. So we can build an, a coal mine and a quarry. So the quarry gives us stone. But we need 60 coins... Uh, no, we need to 55 to build it and then 60 per year to keep it up. Uh, there is a reduction in cost for that uh, with one of the upgrades. Oh, look at this. Look at this. How cute they're looking. So, so they're taking all this stuff to the depot where it can be stored. Depots also give us extra storage. So they're good for that. Um, in addition to, I think they're stored normally in the townhouse here. Yeah. But depots will give you extra storage and more places for people to drop stuff off. So you saw this lady. She brought a um, something into there and now she's carrying wood. Where are you carrying this wood? Confusion? Hello? You're carrying it to the hunting lodge. Wait. Click to pause. Okay. See, now this is confusing to me. I'm hoping that this this might get looked at as well. Because click to pause, you press the play button to pause. Or click to resume. I guess this means it's going. But normally, I don't know. I, I see it the opposite way, I guess. 
Uh, anyway, so this is, yeah, upkeep. We need lumber for upkeep as well as iron. Now, we don't have uh, any iron being mined yet. Um, I have been waiting to get the stone going a tiny bit. Let's see. Uh, production buildings. We can get the quarry or I guess, I don't know if we have any places that need stone, but we can upgrade the houses to stone houses. Now, remember we had an ore overlay here. So I think what we can do is um, rotate this building and place it here. So this is, yeah, 100% efficiency right there. So that one can go there. Oh, hello. How come I cannot place this? Hello. There we go. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to get rid of this. We can actually see the thing. And I'm going to set up a road as well. Oh, look how beautiful the snow is. I like it. It's so pretty. Okay. Length, 107 tiles. Okay. So we're going to get this set up. We also are going to need a depot there. But let's get this out of here so we can actually see what's going on. It's cold. It's very cold, but we have snow on the roofs and all oh, the poor palm trees are freezing. Oh no. Oh, oh, a sunken ship. Oh no. A ship has sunk off the coast of our fair city. We should send a search party and see what they can find. So we can organize a search, par search and rescue party, focus on helping survivors. Okay. So we get adults three, children four, which gives us immigration plus 20 points. That's not 20 new people in the colony. We just get three adults or four and four children and plus this like, you know, buff bonus thing. Or we can send a search party to search for any goods floating around and ignore all the people dying in the water. That will give us an immigration of minus 40. <laughs> so also, I think it would be great if this text was a little bit darker, like maybe black instead of white with a, sort of a black shadow because it's a little bit difficult to see, especially the minus signs here. Um, but we're definitely going to take the adults and children, even though we don't have any peppers and that would have been a very tasty, nice variety of meal. Uh, but yeah. Oh, housing shortage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Pause. We are going to address the housing shortage. Let's go to our grid again and put in another house. Let's see, how many people do we have? We have eight families now, so we need three new houses. That's a lot. Um, so let's do that. So we're gonna turn it twice and then kind of align them here. One, oh, oh no. Oh yeah, we, I couldn't do any more because we have no more coins. Yeah, no more coins is a bad problem. Now we're going to struggle with the coins. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take this road this way. People can work on that. And we'll put a road down this way. Okay. Now we can just align it ourselves. It'll be fine. Now then. Oh, this is not done yet. Okay. We still need... Wow, we need 75. And we need lumber. I think we paid the coins when we already... Um, placed it down. But we probably should have these people. Here we go. Yeah, income for the year. We have Jonas, who is paying 60 uh, monies a year. Okay. I don't know why this... Is that Jonas? Hello? Hello? I can't click on him. Okay. Well, I guess not. I guess we don't know. But also you see that Speed three isn't very fast, but I think at one it would be like, I don't know, unplayable. I don't know. Maybe if it gets different, like if you have a huge city or something and lots to tend to, but it's pretty slow. Let's get another house going again. Okay, there we go. So is Jonas living here now? No, that's Emmanuel going in there. Okay, cool. So, wow, we have 14 adults now. I guess one of the chil one of the young people grew up. Oh no, oh no, coldness, oh no. Okay, so this is, this could be a bad problem. We might need to upgrade stuff. We also probably need a clothier. 
to make some clothes for them. Um, but we don't have uh, <laughs> we don't have the tech for it, so they're gonna have to be cold for a while, alas. It's kind of a rough thing. But anyway, see they're walking like almost looking like barefoot. Probably not though. I'm just imagining it. Just saying it for drama's sake, right? <laughs> But they are cold walking outside in whatever clothes that they have. We don't have the ability to make them winter clothes yet. So yeah, that's kind of going to kind of be a tiny problem uh, for a bit. But let's check on our food. Okay, monthly produce is 143 and use is 126. So we are good on, on that. I'm really glad we upgraded our fishery. We upgraded the gathery. Gathery, that doesn't sound right at all. The gatherer's shelter. Uh, we can let's buy them larger baskets, and then here. Oh, these are expensive. Venison production plus twenty percent. Eh. I guess we have enough people that we can afford. Oh, carrier. Let's. Oh, hello. I guess maybe it doesn't like two menus up and at the same time. Let's see. Let's get this one up, and then let's get two miners working. But all of a sudden we're low on people again so it's important to not build too too fast also we have this one uh, upkeep minus 10 percent that is absolutely huge it only costs 50 50 coins um and it saves us 12 gold a month yes please um all right so we have production bonuses we also have worker slots here so anyway, that's going to be that working out pretty well. I want to build another house. Let's reverse here. Okay, good. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can mine coal. That is an, another option instead of firewood. Um, it looks like we are not getting enough here. Enough firewood for people. Because they are complaining about being cold. So that's maybe something we want to look into is building a coal mine. Oh, the wind. Oh my god, the snow. Sire, the king has sent over a ship full of goods for our fair city. He's clearly pleased with us. Most excellent. Please notify the king that we accept the gift of coal. Or have we been bad children for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know what our people like it. Okay, no firewood in stock. Your people are not able to heat their homes. Check your sawmills or build additional. Yeah. In most cases, it's better just to upgrade one building instead of building multiple uh, because it costs less and then they share the other bonuses. So at the moment, we haven't gotten we haven't got much choice in this. I guess we could, yeah, if we get 75 coins, we could. We do have uh, not enough lumber. Okay. I think we need to expand our forester's hut. Let's see. Expansion one. Let's do that. Let's get some more foresters in here. And then see that the trade-off between most of these, like, between, for example, mechanization and expansion. Uh, there is a higher cost, of course, but if you don't got the people, you just don't got the people. That's that's one of the rougher kind of things, I think. Um, but it should it should get uh, get better. As we get like more iron, we can maybe have one less miner, for example, and stuff like that. So we are doing okay on people at the moment. It's February. So we haven't died yet. Hooray. This is good. Hey, hey. Yeah. Anyway, but our our food is being produced uh, not as well as I thought. What the heck happened there? Oh, no. Why? It used to be at 140. I wonder if that's the gathering thing that... Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. We can do, let's do large baskets too. Looks like they are gathering roots uh, in the winter time. Blackberries have to be a summertime thing, I think. So let's give them another production expansion there. Okay, we still have a lot of, a uh, lot of food here though. 
No firewood. No! Why? Let's see if anybody's living here. Nobody's living there yet. Wow, five of six residents. That was quick. Wait, wasn't Emmanuel living here? Huh, okay. No, Emmanuel was living here. I see. Okay. And then here we have other families. Hieronymus and Laura. And... Wait, was that... <laughs> Denise and Dennis? <laughs> That's lovely. Uh, and here we have... Uh, Francisca and Timothy with Arthur is their child. Oh, that's nice. Methuselah. Wow, okay. That's a heavy name. All right. Archibald and Teguin. Okay. We have Jermaine, Julian. We have our parents to Catherine and Jeffrey. Nice. All right. Okay, so we survived the winter mostly. It's been okay. Not too bad. So now we kind of, I'm wondering if we should go stone. What we can do with houses, of course, is we can upgrade those, but it's per house. So it's quite expensive. Firewood and coal upkeep minus 25%. We can also make it into a stone house, uh, but we have to research that one as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, we actually needed 150, I think, for the next level of research, which was the toolsmith. Let's see. Coming up, let's see, do we have that, um, oh, this is a nice one. Yeah, food production increases efficiency of stuff, all the stuff, but 300 coins and all of this needs to come before it. Increases fisherman hut efficiency during the winter, that could be a good one to get. But it has, like, three other things that are very expensive before we get there. I think the, uh, the skill tree is a little bit, um, I don't know weird in many 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 ways so anyway i hope that uh, it is interesting to you check it out let's see uh, oh family eight adult 17 that seems interesting so we have agnes and jonas living here i think i'm going to build another house in fact i'll build two more houses and then i think we're going to save up money for that tech because I think that's pretty important that we get kind of to a point where we actually have farming because you know if our population keeps growing and we don't have enough food then we're we're gonna be in a bad bad spot let's see uh so this is the gatherer's shelter let's see forester's hut expansion planting axes I think this is this is actually a really good thing okay so this is fully upgraded so we cannot add more than two foresters uh, at all to this. So we would need to get another uh, forester's hut. Uh, it could be somewhere else. It doesn't have to be right there. Let's see. How are we doing on food now? Whoa. 158 versus 156. Wow. Uh, we could add another fisherman, which I think would be a great thing. We could maybe add another hunter. That is also another option we have. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add another hunter. And it might be worth also getting that bonus from the research, the one that increases the yields if they're near a forester, because they are near a forester. So uh, we could definitely be getting that bonus, but it is just so expensive. And we really, like, I was thinking about trading. Like, what could we trade? We actually don't have much at all to spare. Um, we have quite a bit of, uh, iron going on, but I'm wondering if maybe coal is a better option. So I'm thinking about building a coal mine, uh, to, you know, produce stuff instead of having this, uh, wood mine, make all the wood and stuff like that. And I, I hear some people already groaning, oh, thank God there's no wind mines in this one. There might be, I don't know. I <laughs> think there could be farms, ranches, orchards, town. Is there is there a windmill? I mean a wind mine? <clears throat> it's called a wind mine. Yes. It mines the wind. Yep. That's the thing. Anyway, um, let's see. We have we don't have the research for the well yet. So if I don't know, if for me there's like some things in this game that are like kinda backward from other games. Like the well. 
Shouldn't the well be, like, something you have from the very beginning? Like, every town's gotta have a well. You gotta have water. Uh, so, and you, like, this seems to be a sea? I don't think it's fresh water, but it might be. It might be, I don't know. Um... But yeah, um, it, so some of the things that I think are a tiny bit odd, but having said that, I really enjoyed playing uh, the demo. I don't know if I'll have a chance to make more episodes of this right now in the demo, um, but when this comes to full release, I will definitely make time for it because it seems like a really, really cool game. But I just wanted to get this out there because there are many, many um, games yelling for my attention and I wanted to let you know about it so you can play with it and see what you think and also give feedback to the developers because most of the reason that's why they put the games out there in a demo format is so that they can get your impressions what you think of it what you think can be changed and all that kind of stuff um yeah so check it out it's on steam I have a link in the description below and we survived our first winter so yay so anyway thank you so very much for joining me Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.